Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I wanted to share this uh, little setup I got. Uh, so I was doing some modifications to the um, Phantom 2, and you get to see the basement uh, ceiling in my basement. Uh, so I've been doing some modifications to the Phantom 2 FPV over here, and you've probably seen it in some prior flights. But one of the things I picked up off Banggood was this... Um, a uh, 5.8 gig UVC receiver that plugs into um, an Android phone. Now this won't work with uh, with Apple, but it does work with Android. And this is sort of what I've been really focusing on with my FPV stuff or my copter stuff is, is Android. It's a lot cheaper, um, more bang for the buck, if you will. But with this app, this FPV viewer app, uh, one of the things that this will plug in and creates a 5.8 uh, 5 gig link to the phone and as you can see the the screen here is what what the copter is seeing so it's a fpv link so the nice thing about this is i can mount this to the controller of the phantom 2 and get fpv right on a controller sort of like a phantom 3. one of the things i think i'm going to do is 3d print something that 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 allows me to attach it something like this uh, so I can use the phone for other things and just kind of snap it on, snap it off. But you kind of get the idea, and then it'll hold it. Um, I bought this militarized case for this Note 5 that I use. Uh, but this thing is heavier than the phone, so I think I'm going to get a little bit lighter case. Um, I'll let it flip back over here. Uh, but the other nice thing is this draws power from the phone itself, so there are no extra batteries for this. It does pull it. Now this does get a little rather warm and does use uh, quite a bit of power. So, you know, one of the things I'd recommend is, is I pretty much use uh, this phone, you know, just for FPV quadcopter use. Uh, so one of the things I'd recommend is, you know, get a battery bank or something out in the field uh, to charge it up after use if you're going to use it as your regular phone too. But I really like this. Now there are other functions. So you can have screen recording. You can do Google Goggles uh, with this, which is really kind of cool. Uh, because one of the things I want to do is uh, some FPV stuff. And this kind of gives you a cheap entry into FPV with the Google Goggles. Uh, you can see here now it's in goggle mode, so you have, you know, for both eyes, and you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Let's switch it back to the standard screen. Uh, and then, again, we can hit the record button so we can record what's happening. And then we can obviously stop it and then save it out. Uh, and the uh, app, I think, is free. I think there's might be some ads on it at the end come up or whatever. But for free, we can kind of live with it. So anyways, again, I thought this was neat. Um, cost on this, I think I picked it up on sale for around 17 18 bucks. I think it's normally worth, it's around 25 bucks, But I think it's highly worth it, again, to turn your cell phone or tablet. Now, I've used this with, with several tablets, uh, too, and it works great uh, on, on especially a tablet, the larger Android tablets. Also runs the FPV app. You get a larger screen. Uh, so pretty neat for the money, you know, so when you think of the cost of buying a ground station and all that other kind of stuff with recording, it's about a hundred bucks. So a quarter of that you get to reuse the phone and, uh, you know, smaller form factors. So I'm pretty happy with that. And that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. So watch for more seeing this out in the field. I definitely plan on using it, uh, with the, um, Phantom 2 over here, again, with the FPV setup. I've made some modifications. I'll kind of show you guys that while we're here. So I had to flip the camera around. I've got the 360 degree camera hooked underneath with the GoPro mounts, style mounts. And so all that's in pretty good shape. I've got the transmitter. Uh, i got to tighten up the antenna. The antenna's flipping around here. That's not good. Uh, I am going to switch this around for the, the mushroom antenna eventually. Uh, but again, you get a look at it. So this is coming along pretty nice. And again, I designed up, uh, you can check out, follow me on Thingiverse. I've got the... Uh, designs STLs out there for these modified versions and you can see how the camera sits up here and it kind of a little bit clears the view now for the 360 you are seeing a bit of this but um, that's just sort of life with the 360 degrees so hopefully you found this interesting if you did um, hey subscribe to the channel a lot more coming up on this kind of stuff hit me up in the comments below let me know what you had for lunch or what you're thinking about and we'll see you in the next video cheers